Hello friends, my name is Razam Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic decision making. Uh, friend, this is a very interesting topic and uh, friend, see uh, this topic is not directly related to project management. However, it is a uh, approach we use normally in uh, project management to do decisions, to make decisions and uh, uh, we have to, as a project manager, you have to do the planning. And when we talk about planning, basically planning means that you have take estimate and proceed according to the decisions make so friends uh, as a project manager you have to take lots of decisions in your life in your professional life so it is very important to understand the process of decision making so uh, as a project manager you should know that what is the criteria how to make decisions in the practical or professional life of project management uh, this topic uh, is uh, is that we have taken this topic from PMBOK project management body of knowledge so we must have to understand that this topic what does it mean by decision making and how we can utilize in in it is in our life see friend uh, if you talk about with respect to exam point of view if you are a student and studying for uh, project management in any university so uh, with respect to exam point of view you should have uh, knowledge you should have a concept about decision making you may see this topic in multiple choice options and two to three questions you uh, you can see this uh, related to this topic however uh, try to understand that with respect to exam point of view uh, uh, this topic is uh, this topic is not very much important uh, like I think two to three questions maximum you may see this topic may be not directly related to decision making however uh, with respect to professional life or practical life of project management this topic is very important so uh, friend uh, just want to tell you that if you are planning for a PMP exam uh, you can see this topic uh, in uh, in the exam in the PMP exam or in the university exam like two to three, three questions you can see you may see the in the exam however if you are already a project manager and working in any organization so this is very important to understand the concept of decision making so that it can be helpful for you in your professional life that how to take decisions in the professional life of project management so uh, uh, today we will see this topic in detail and uh, we will see that how we can take decisions what is the criteria of decision making so friend, um, uh, just uh, just subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. What is decision making friend? If I just ask from you, uh, whoever is listening my video, what is decision making in your, in, in, what do you think that what is decision making? How you define a decision making? See friend, uh, as a, as a, a project manager or as a human being you know that uh, you have to take decisions in your life to proceed further for example uh, for example uh, uh, let me give you a very simple example if you want to go somewhere uh, like for example you have to meet to your relative so you have to go from your location to some any other location you can go through bus or you can go through your own car okay so you have to take decision by your own self that how you can go there either you go through the uh, the bus either you go through your own car so what you will do in this case you will see the advantages possibilities alternatives which are available and you give some weightage to the alternatives and then decide that what are the advantages if you go through option A or if you go through option B okay and whatever the advantages are more uh, the feasibility are more you will adopt the decision see for example uh, the same example if you want to go to meet your uncle uh, to relative and uh, you can go through bus or you can go through your own car However, after some time you realize that uh, uh, there is some construction going on along the road of bus route 
and you know that if you go through the bus it will be a very heavy traffic there and you cannot reach on time however if you go through your own car and you adopt uh, the some alternative way so or uh, also try to uh, uh, try to go early so you can reach on time so this is the approach this is the manner, manner to take decision so friend this is the criteria this is called the very simple example of decision making in which we first of all we have to realize that we have to take a decision in some at some point then we see the possible alternatives available then we give some weightage some uh, value to the alternatives and then decide based on the our weightage our priorities that which alternatives is more possible more feasible and more better so based on uh, based on our own criteria based upon our own our criteria or priorities we take some decision we select some alternatives and once the alternatives or decision has been made then uh, we take action according to the uh, according to the decision and after the decision we, uh, we 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 will analyze that after some time what what was our decision it was good or bad or better so this is the process of uh, decision making same friend uh, try to understand that why decision making is important in professional life as well see uh, friend as a project manager you have to take lots of decisions in the professional life of project management for example if you are building an e-commerce solution and you have to deliver a solution to customer so as a project manager you have to take decision either you have to build the whole module from a scratch like you have to build the whole module using your own uh, development team you have to build the whole module using custom modules you have to you can uh, purchase some uh, built-in module from net you can uh, use uh, some free available module like php or uh, mysql any other uh, free available uh, module you can uh, download just from net and uh, using that module uh, or you can uh, also do that just download the free available module and customize the module by using your own approach your own uh, knowledge so there are multiple options available multiple alternatives are available if you are building just a simple e-commerce solution also you can uh, you, you can purchase a license of any uh, standard uh, e-commerce solution like for example e-commerce uh, like for example Webisphere solution IBM Webisphere solution or uh, any other uh, um, uh, solution so friend uh, see that when we talk about project management as a project manager you have to take so many decisions so as a project management you have to identify the alternatives give some uh, give some weightage to the evidence and based on your priorities uh, you take the action uh, you select the alternatives and take the action accordingly so this is a very common process a very general process of taking the decision making here just want to inform you that as a project manager you in professional life you have to take lots of decision in your life so as a project manager you have your decision making skills should be very strong and you should be able to take decisions uh, friend this is very important that uh, you should your confidence level your self confidence should be very high and you take decision by your own self not dependent to any other person always uh, always uh, put confidence on yourself and take decisions according to your need and priorities so what is the process to take decisions here first of all uh, first step is that identify the decision that you have to take decision then gather the relevant information about the situation what is the situation how much so get some information uh, about the uh, given scenario then identify the alternatives what are the possible solutions what are the what are the uh, what are the possible alternatives in this situation 
then give some weightage to the alternatives where some priorities of weightage after that adopt or choose any alternative then take the action according to the alternative and after some time review your decision and its consequences so this is a very uh, simple process of uh, decision making this is a very uh, seven steps uh, are there and you just have to identify the decision gather relevant information identify the alternatives uh, give some evidence uh, weightage to the evidence choose among the alternatives take the action accordingly and review your decision and its consequences so friend this is a very simple process of decision making uh, i hope i have tried my level best to explain you the concept of decision making in a, a very simple and very easy to understand manner honestly saying the purpose of making this video is to just share my knowledge and thoughts uh, with you so that it can be very helpful for you in your uh, in your professional life especially uh, see friend when if you are studying so at the time of studying in university or if you are going to give an exam a pmp uh, you have to understand the concept of uh, uh, decision making and if you are a, already a professional project management manager you should have to able to take decisions in your professional life so friend that's all from my side i hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, thank you thanks a lot for your time thank you